Is this working? Okay. That is so satisfying. If I'm talking fast or looking a little hyper, it's because I drank coffee and I never do this in the mornings, so my heart is racing right now. I do have some sparkling water here to calm me down just a little bit. This right here is gonna be my, my little help. I even put it on a little wine glass because uh, I wanted to feel bougie. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a chit chatty video. I just really wanted to talk to you guys and I feel like I don't really do this too often so whatever I'm just gonna go for it today. I know some of you are probably not big fans of chatty videos but then again I am going to get a million questions on what's going on. I guess right now for me my life has been YouTube and making YouTube videos. It's really just made me so happy to be able to create content and I don't know what it is. I've just been super dedicated to making videos for you guys and I know I haven't been able to do two uploads a week but that's just because I'm not used to it yet and I have a lot of high expectations for each of my uploads so that is why I don't really get to upload as much as I'd like to. You no, know, I do need my boyfriend to film a lot of my videos, my more creative videos. I know that I'm going to get a ton of questions about why I changed my channel name and, you know, like, when this all happened. Basically, I think it was like last year, I changed my channel name from Wild Moon to Slips and Stones, and the reason why I did it was because I felt like Wild Moon was a very I guess bohemian aesthetic name, if that makes sense, and I never really felt like it was me. Just it didn't mean anything. And then after, I wanted to come up with a name that was clever, so I came up with Slips and Stones, and I never really explained myself about that. Slips to Sticks. That was kind of my direction on that. So I know this doesn't make sense, but I really just wanted to make something that was more timeless and more me, and was a better interpretation of my channel. So thus Diana Chamomile was born. I've been kind of thinking about it these few days, and I just can't get the name out of my head. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. I really like the name and I think it's going to be a better interpretation of my channel and kind of what's going to be going on here. I do make a lot of fashion videos and those are my absolute favorite to upload, but I also feel like there are more creative outcomes that I want to present to you guys on my channel. I didn't really want to make this announcement too dramatic or anything because it's really not. I just wanted to explain myself a little bit. So I hope that kind of makes sense. I have a lot of trouble communicating my thoughts sometimes in video video form. Um, so that's why I actually wanted to talk about the next thing, which is why I write poetry. A lot of you guys ask me if the poetry on my channel is my own and if I've written it, and the answer to that is yes, I've always written poetry and I never really told anybody about it. I've never told my boyfriend about it. I've never told my family about it. It's something that's personal to me and you know how people write journal entries and have diaries? I've always just written poetry. Whenever I feel really anxious or I I can't get an emotion out. I literally have an entire folder on my phone that I go back to just to write poetry. Sometimes the racing thoughts in my head overwhelm me and I can never really speak about it or talk about it or communicate it and just poetry has really given me a voice. And actually one of my resolutions for this year was to have a voice that wants to be heard. Um, and you guys have given me that voice really. I really wanted to share a new side of me to you guys. I just feel like it's a better way for you guys to understand the inner thoughts in my head. Head. I think that is actually going to lead me to becoming less socially anxious in front of the camera and to people in general. So many of you guys are just amazing and have left some really incredible things on the comment section of my videos and have told me that my videos have really helped change your perspective on certain things in a positive light and that to me is everything. So I'm really appreciative and so happy that it's gone well and that it's been able to um, open me up to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know that I know that a lot of you have so I really just wanted to say thank you for giving me the chance to express myself and be myself on my channel because it's really given me the opportunity to open up to y'all. For the longest time I really just wanted to fit in on YouTube and I've always wanted to kind of blend in with the rest of everyone. Um, but for some reason I just feel like I'm not meant for that so I've just been doing my own thing. It's really hard sometimes to stand out on YouTube and I've never seen fashion lookbook videos with spoken word. I never expected my channel to grow the way it has especially since I've always been somebody that has been very reserved in real life and um, I'm really shy. I, I don't know, I think I'm gonna end it here. Uh, 
I feel like I've just gone super emotional for no reason. My bangs are doing its own thing. Here's to new beginnings. I'm going to continue adding my poetry into my videos. I'm officially doing that. I also constantly want to know what you guys want to see from me, so please comment down below video requests or any ideas or any thoughts or anything at all because it just... I don't know. It just makes me happy to hear from you guys and knowing what you guys want to see will help out so much because I have been trying to film more lately. Yeah, comment your thoughts down below. Like I said, I love hearing from you guys and if you can tell me one fun fact about yourself in the comments, that would be really cool. We can talk about stuff. Uh, yeah, I really hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!